What is up guys, welcome back. And today we're gonna to be looking at creating some sounds for your Psytrance tracks. I've been getting a couple of requests for particular sounds that are featured in tracks that have been released. So today's request comes from Alvaro Pena. He says, bro, I've been trying to nail this lead at 320. Just a quick disclaimer, it might not be exactly the sound that you were looking for. Um, it sounded pretty similar to the quality of the YouTube rip that I was listening to. So um, let me know if this helps you out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start up an instance of Serum. Uh, it's still on the init patch. Um, I've already made the MIDI. Um, I think I got it pretty close to how it is in the original track. Like I was saying, it's a very complex uh, lead line that's going on there. Um, with a lot of automation, so it's hard to hear exactly what's going on, but I think I came pretty close So let me know in those comments if you guys think so as well So you can go ahead and copy it as I've got it here um, In this MIDI file make sure with these uh, First notes every second beat you want these notes to overlap like this over here That's kind of the basis of the sound. Um, it's got that sort of glide or portamento as some people call it um, So what we want to do is we want to we want to create that by clicking mono over here and then we want to turn this up to about say 370 or so just under there So the basis of the sound that you heard in the Mystical Complex track is pretty much a saw wave and then what's happening is it's running through a high pass filter. Um, it sounds like a 24 dB and it's got quite some quite a sharp amount of resonance on it. And I just turned the drive and fat up a little bit. And let's say up to about 65% or so with the res. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it and I'm going to tweak this cutoff so you can hear what, what's actually happening with the sound. Um, I did notice that he's also using quite a bit of distortion in the sound. Um, so I, I added the serum distortion over here and I think he was using something similar to the sound of this zero square and I turned this up to about 65% or so. <laughs> So it's starting to sound like it's getting there. Um, I think in his original sound, he did have a second oscillator that I think was um, maybe octaved up one. Um, I think it was also a saw wave. So let's just add that and see how that sounds. We also want to send that through the filter. <laughs> I think what I'm going to try to do here is change this to one of the other uh, sort of saw waves that are built in here. Uh, where is that one? I think it's... Uh, 
So I think that's starting to sound like the sound that we're looking for. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys a couple of sort of variations that we can do to that sound to kind of make it a little bit unique to give your own spin on it. Um, so you could change the, the portamento or glide time. What that's going to do is it's going to give you more of a sort of uh, more of a, 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 a glidey effect in between the notes that are overlapping. Let's hear what that sounds like when we tweak that. <laughs> We can also maybe slap another filter on there in the effects section. Let's pop it just after the, the chorus and before the reverb over here. Um, and we can use this for sort of build up sections and stuff like that. Um, or we can even put envelopes and LFOs and stuff like that on it to really modulate the sound to create something really unique from what we have already. Let's check out some variations or what we can do. We can also play with the shapes of the oscillators. Um, I'm thinking we can maybe go with a square. Um, just change these basic shapes over here. Maybe go with a square and something like a pulse. <laughs> Anyway, you guys get the picture. You could pretty much go wild with that. There's lots of variations you can do. Similar sounds like this are used quite extensively in the Psytrance genre, you know, from the sort of harder nighttime stuff all the way through to the sort of more power, energetic, full on morning type of stuff uh, like we see with Mystic Complex. Let me know how close I got to that sound. Um, after sort of listening to it on loop for, for ages, it's hard to kind of gauge. Um, so I'm keen to get your guys' opinion on that. Let me know if it helped you out creating a sound that you were looking to learn how to create. And also hit me up in the comments if there's other sounds from artists that you're wanting to learn how to create and I can try my best to recreate those sounds for you guys. What I want to do is the basic sound that I created uh, before sort of starting with all the variations and crazy stuff like that. Um, I'm going to upload that preset to my Patreon for all my supporters. So if you guys are keen to get that sound and you haven't yet, head on over to my Patreon and please consider supporting me. It would mean a lot to be able to keep making these sounds and tutorials for you guys. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I do post more videos. See you guys next time.